taking probiotics. Before you go and spend a couple hundred more dollars on all of these probiotics, gut healing supplements, I want you to watch this video. For years, I struggled with severe digestive issues. I looked six months pregnant, I couldn't go to the bathroom or I was running to the bathroom. I got so many food allergies and sensitivities and I spent so much time and money researching and trying every gut healing supplement out there. One being probiotics. Probiotics are often considered that quick fix and one-stop shop for everything when it comes to digestive issues, bloating, constipation, and even food sensitivities. But often on our gut healing journey, taking this approach first right in the beginning or just turning to a bunch of different probiotic supplements or foods could actually make issues worse. In this video, I'm gonna share with you why probiotics should not be that first approach we take in our gut healing journey and exactly what I did my approach to healing your gut, getting rid of digestive issues, and after struggling myself with 15 types of parasites, H. pylori, SIBO, mast cell activation, I had thyroid issues, hormone imbalances, I was down to three foods, guys, and I still couldn't go to the bathroom, and I even had 150 colonics on my journey as well. So I've been through it, and I'm gonna share with you exactly when no one could help me how I got down to the root cause, the missing link for healing the gut, and why we shouldn't go to probiotics first. I want to start off by going through a little bit on gut health and why we don't just want to go to probiotics. This is a very important part, so make sure you listen through and listen through the end because there's going to be so much information on gut health and healing in this video. So first off, when we have any type of digestive issue going on, we get online, we Google our digestive issue, and a lot of times the probiotics pick up. And what happens is we go, we buy the best, the most expensive probiotic out there. I've done them, guys. I've done them all. And then we end up getting more digestive issues, more gas, more bloating, more IBS. Um, maybe you have histamine issues and you get more red and itchy skin or more skin issues. And you think you've done worse. And here's the deal. Our gut, guys, it runs so many different things in the body and we have a lot of different microorganisms in there. When we have an imbalance of the good and bad bacteria in the gut, this could be we were a C-section, we've been taking a lot of antibiotics in the past, um, we're under chronic stress, refined diet, and what happens is this disruption throws off the good and bad bacteria. So if we're struggling with chronic digestive issues and we don't get down to the root cause and we're just throwing in all these probiotics and ferment foods and we're feeling worse, we may need to take a little step back and look at it differently. So I want to share a real life example of a client that came to me, what I did with her, but first I want to share with you the way that we need to look at it when it comes to healing the gut. One big thing I want you guys to know about probiotics, every strain is different. Everybody's body is different. So if someone has an underlying root cause, which we want to figure out, of something like SIBO, giving them a probiotic may actually make them feel worse, have more gas, more bloating, exacerbate the symptoms, especially in the beginning of their healing journey. And for example, someone that has something like mast cell activation, I had a client who had red skin all over her whole body, guys, it was broken out with red. Anytime she did bone broth, which is known for gut healing, anytime she did fermented food, everything would get red. And I ended up healing her in 12 weeks after she spent thousands of dollars going to mast cell activation doctors, but she was taking probiotics and they were making her feel so much worse to where her fatigue was bad, her skin was all red, and she couldn't even get out of bed, and her gut just felt horrible with inflammation, gas, and bloating. So probiotics, may one strain may work for one person, it may not work for the other, but if you guys are just guessing out there and probiotics grabbing an overall strain and throwing into your diet, not getting to the root cause of why you have the digestive issue first, you're gonna be spinning in circles for years just as I did. And a few other reasons why taking probiotics first may not be the best. Um, and a few other things associated with taking probiotics is is there's a lot of the times dairy or maybe you have a food sensitivity to something that is actually in the probiotics. Not all of them are plant-based and individuals as we get older, sometimes people lose the enzyme to break down dairy, so they may have a dairy sensitivity. And there's also a lot of fillers or even specific strains of bacteria that increase those histamine levels, which could trigger a reaction. 
So you know a little bit more about, we got the gut issue going on. We typically go toward probiotics, but if we don't know the real cause of why we're having these gut issues and get the specific strain and do it in the right way, then we're gonna be struggling with the gas, the bloating, and the digestive issues still. So Elizabeth, what do I do? What did you do to heal your gut? I am gonna share that with you, but but first I wanna share with you a real life scenario because I like to kind of share with you guys different clients that I work with because everyone has all these different health issues so that you guys can relate and see in different ways how I help them overcome these when it's not just your one-stop shop probiotic heal the gut. As I mentioned I struggled for years with severe health issues so I went back to school I have four additional degrees and now I work with clients all around the world healing them from severe autoimmune gut issues when they go to every doctor and they're unable to feel better and actually get better so a little example I actually had a client come to me over a week ago and this is only one week into our journey these are the wins that are happening through diet nutrition and healing the gut the right way that I'm going to be sharing with you she came to me she had a hysterectomy so she's literally post menopause she had thyroid issues going on she had such bad acid reflux to where she was waking up every single night in the middle of the night, vomiting every single night, even on the medication, the acid blockers that the doctor had her on. She was starting to actually lose calcium, not absorbing her nutrients right. She was starting to get fragile, breaking her bones. She was overweight, couldn't bend over to even tie her shoes struggling with chronic bloating, chronic gas, 24 seven, no matter what she ate. Her anxiety was so high and she's like, Elizabeth, I went to every doctor, they've done the blood work, they've done the testing, they can't find nothing wrong and I'm at my end all. In just one week through specific changes with her diet guys, she is actually, well, in one week she was down pounds and inches and her bloating went from a 10 out of 10 to like a four now, but we are now three weeks into her program she is no longer, she only had to take her medication for her acid reflux one time over these three weeks. She was taking it daily. And we haven't had in these three weeks, even one episode of vomiting where she woke up throughout the night. And she was having this every single night. And I just like, I couldn't anymore. So here's the deal. She also had her gallbladder out. So when someone comes to me, they had their gallbladder taken out. We have liver issues going on because she also had high liver enzymes. She has fractured bones going on, chronic bloating, chronic digestive issue. I have to look at it. Why are we having the symptoms of the gas, the bloating, the low energy, the cravings, the weight gain? And I, tra I traced it back. And basically over these last three weeks, what I've been working on, I did not just throw in probiotics with her. First off, I started with her diet. I got her down to an anti-inflammatory diet, setting her macro specific to balance out her blood sugar levels so that we're getting the stress down, we're getting enough fiber, we're utilizing food that's not gonna be flaring up, and I got her off of a lot of the acidic things that would be triggering the acid reflux while we work on correcting the insufficiencies. The second part of what I did with her is we looked at why is she having these gut issues specifically? All the testing came back, we had no positives for anything, but we had that severe acid reflux and her gallbladder was removed. So when your gallbladder is removed, you're not making enough bile to emulsify all of your fats, your fat soluble vitamins we need for our hormones. So I started, hey, let's correct the insufficiencies. So we had low stomach acid. We weren't making enough pancreatic enzymes. We had our gallbladder wasn't there. So I started working on with her diet her food eating practices and saying, okay, if we're dealing with all these gut issues going on, the constipation, the gas, the bloating, let's figure out the insufficiencies that we're working with so that we can get all of these, her body functioning right to where we're having daily bowel movements, to where you know we're not having chronic bloating, the energy is through the roof, we're losing weight. And that's exactly what's happening now. So she's starting, she's being able to produce more bile with the pink, um, um, the acid reflux is a minimum and we're figuring out what those triggers are. We're working on her stress a lot too because she came from past trauma and it's a slow steady state. Deeper into her gut journey, I am gonna be adding in specific probiotic strains to heal the lining of the gut and improve that. But I'm not doing that in the beginning because we had so many other things going on that throwing in that bacteria right in the beginning when she was having so much gas and bloating, um, 
And with the probiotics, this is something that I'm not gonna be adding in immediately with her. I'm doing specific things with her diet, adding in certain higher histamine foods over the time we work together. And then deeper in her gut healing journey, I am gonna be, um, and I'm not specifically adding in probiotics with her yet. I'm working on getting the inflammation down, adding in specific herbs, stress manatech, um, and I'm not specifically throwing in probiotics with her right now. That's something that I'm gonna be waiting till the end probably to do with her. Right now, she was so inflamed and in a state of metabolic chaos that I'm just like, let's focus on healing the gut, sealing the lining so that foods aren't triggering her anymore. We get the inflammation down. Let's get her losing weight, able to move her body more, have the energy back. And then as we heal the gut, then we slowly add that bacteria in when her body can handle it and it's not in this inflamed state as we work on that. So if you guys kind of see this, everybody's body is different. Every individual that comes to me, maybe they're Hashimoto's with anemia over here, or they went through chronic, chronic trauma, they had hysterectomy, or this individual has been in an apartment that had a lot of mold and they have Lyme disease. I work with all these different clients and as you guys can see, you may think you just have bloating and gas and you add in a probiotic, but if you have these chronic digestive issues or these autoimmune conditions going on, there's a deeper issue that we need to get to. And she couldn't even lose any weight, guys. So now she told me this week, in three weeks, she is bending over. She is able to tie her shoes and she couldn't do that before because of her deep belly fat that she had. And she told me today, um, she told me yesterday too on our call, she's like, my clothes are fitting differently. So all of these things come together and that's the way I like to work with my clients, more of that holistic approach. So now that I kind of shared with you a story and kind of related that and showed a different way how I work with clients, I want to take you through what that missing link is in a little bit more detail. But if you guys do need help healing your gut, head to the description below. This is my specialty. I work with women 30 plus, perimenopause, postmenopause, hysterectomy, thyroid issues, gut. They all come to me. They all tell me they've been to every doctor out there. They're at their end wit. They can't lose the weight. They have chronic cravings. They have gas and bloating. They look pregnant. They don't know what to eat. And I do the nutrition, the diet, the training. I heal the gut. I get the stress down. I teach them everything and get them out of the state of metabolic chaos to where they're able to live a healthy life with zero bloat, with high energy, 60, 70, 80 plus. So if you need help, head to the description below, fill out a questionnaire. I will be reaching out with you personally in the next 24 hours to set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit. And this is your unicorn moment. It is. If you are on this call, there is a reason why you are on this video today because you are struggling with a gut issue and you're looking for an answer. And I want to be your answer. I want to help you. Now, when it comes to healing the gut, it's not just add the probiotics in first. This is going to be that missing link. You need to get down to the root cause and heal the gut first. If you're not healing the gut and you're in the state of just inflammation, gas, bloating, dysbiosis, stress, anxiety, and then you're just throwing probiotics, kombucha, fermented foods in, you're gonna feel more reactive. But if we can get down to the root cause of why we're having these gut issues and heal the gut lining, then we truly can actually get you on your gut health journey, healing from metabolic chaos, getting rid of bloating, getting rid of your IBS and healing you for good. So if you ever go to somebody and they're just like throw in probiotics and do this, no, no, no. You need to heal the gut first. You need to get to the root cause. There is a specific way in doing it so that you're able to overcome them or else you're gonna be like how I was for years, which is stuck on the low FODMAP diet. Anytime I ate off of that list, I would be super reactive. I couldn't even go to restaurants, events, because I was so fearful of what to eat off of the menu because I would get gassy, bloated, and have chronic constipation and trigger my IBS bad. It was taking over my life. So heal, get to the root cause, let me know if you need help, and watch this video here. It is gonna be game changer on your gut healing journey. Subscribe, share a video, and yeah, I love you guys. Let's heal the gut.